Peace and blessings, YouTubers. Uh, we're back with another installment of Protect Your Neck. Got my brother Dan here. Um, this one is a uh, response video to a subscriber. Uh, the main event, 2112. He had asked me, um, what do you do uh, defense against the, the one-two? Just basically straight punches, okay? And um, my bad, it took me about two weeks to get this video up. Sorry, I've been busy. School just ended. But we're going to show you uh, a few techniques. There are uh, so many techniques that you work off the one-two. It really depends on your understanding, your background training as a martial artist, as a fighter. Um, that is how you're going to approach the situation. We're just going to show you a few right now. Uh, basically, we just pulled them out of a hat. We threw a couple to the board and just see what stuck, and that's what we're just going to work with. So, uh, the first, we're going to go with different. We're going to go to uh, boxing. We're going to go to karate. We're going to go to slot. Uh, and we're going to stay within that, those three realms of uh, uh, defending against the one-two. So, Darren and I are going to take a stance. All right. Me being southpaw, you will see this from a southpaw angle. Um, just reverse it as a right-handed. I personally like being southpaw because this helps tremendously against a right-handed fighter. Okay, so Darren's going to throw a lead jab. It's just his lead punch. He's just going to put it out. And the first thing I want to do is I want to move to the outside, just like this. So his punch, his right hand is of no threat to me whatsoever. Okay, his left hand is going to be on my shoulder, and I'm going to sink under here. Okay, so let me switch this from this side so they can see. All right. Darren's going to jab, I'm going to come in, all right? My left hand is what's going to be doing the most damage here. I got my left cross ready, my face is protected, he jabs, and it's going to be right here, okay? My left hand is coming. Whether you want to throw a straight, you can, you can come in with an uppercut, you just have to, bam, right here, and your right hand goes to the kidney area, all right? So that's one counter off this the straight punch, just a straight one. So I come in, bam, my left is right here. His hand is on here. You can see already the combinations uh, that I could do, the counter punches, the techniques, whatever it is. But I'm going to take this into a karate move. Um, and the understanding is from our very first kata, our very first heon kata, and in uh, the Korean styles, it's kicho, is all right. that understanding is, is going to help us right here. In Japan, this worked because everybody fought like this feudalistically in Japan. People weren't exactly taking the Western boxing stance. All right, so a lot of the times, this, if you get a street fight, don't do this shit, because you're gonna get fucked up. All right, however, this works. So Darren's gonna take the same stance again. He's gonna do it, I come in, bam. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to pop into a front stance. So I was behind him, I already disappeared on him. I faded back, this is Tai Sabaki. All right, the art of movement and jiu-jitsu and all, and all Japanese martial arts. But if you don't know what Tai Sabaki is, Tai Sabaki, is movement like an asterisk, okay? Moving in any direction. So what I'm di I did, I, I disappeared on him here, all right? My foot is going to go in to a front stance, okay? Or augmented, I don't want to say a full front stance with my heels off the ground. But here, this is gonna bring his leg down and bring him off balance. From there, he jabs, I come in with the left, I'm going to lock him up here and just, I don't want to drop him on the concrete. I've done that enough in the videos. So that's basically one counter. Darren is going to show you one now. We're going to go straight on bar off of a right-handed jab. So this is a right-handed person against a southpaw. So what Darren's going to show you is me showing you the jab. He's going to on bar. So the first thing I do is a straight one. Bam. He's going to fade in and back. So his hand movement is what's going to lock up my elbow and wrist. He traces it. You're not going to block the punch from the fist. There's not enough fist. That shit happens in the movies, only in the movies. You have more arm than you do fist. So you always target the arm as opposed to the fist. So I jab, bam, he comes in and pulls down, secures the wrist and the arm, okay? There are counters and escapes to this. I can, you know, kick this lead foot out. I can just drop backwards like that and escape. But it's not what we're here for. That is just another counter or technique from the one. So we're gonna try it again from this side. I'm gonna jab, he's going to basically arm bar. Ready? Bam. That's it. The wrenching down is what hurts the elbow, stresses the bicep and the tendons in the tricep. All right. Additionally, you can pretty much do whatever you want, whatever your understanding. If you're a really good wrestler, you just know how to fade punches off, you can destroy somebody from that. Uh, Darren's going to show you now one, two, and I'm going to throw a boxing element into it now. I'm a big fan of the shoulder roll when I box. Uh, everybody knows the famous from Floyd Mayweather. There's so many boxers like Princeton Seam Hamed, 
Pernell Whitaker, even Bernal Hopkins, people who, uh, James Tony, great with the shoulder roll. I like this defense because it looks fantastic and it frustrates the hell out of your opponent. So Darren throws is one, two. I'm slipping and I'm coming right under here. As a southpaw, this is beautiful because there's nothing he can do now. Now, if you take it beyond the realm of just hands, what I can do, elbow here, back fist up here, standing triangle choke, whole bunch of things. Let's take, let's take it from a different side, please. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm waiting for him to throw his first jab and I'm leaning to my left. He throws his jab. I duck down. See, his hand is on my shoulder. Now, people say, because we're not going fast, this doesn't work. This shit works. This is one of my favorite tricks to do against right-handed boxers. I don't even necessarily have to attack him. Don't want to. And just come up on his shoulder and push him back. Beautiful. This is the beautiful uh, uh, execution of the shoulder roll. Okay? So, we're going to go one, two. Under here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Almost like an assault to a guard. But what I did was took my lead leg, I'm sorry, my back leg, around here. Okay, I can lock in. I can even go to a full Soto guard from this way. Doesn't matter, whatever your execution is. You might say that I'm gonna lose balance here. I know a trick that some of y'all may not know. I'm not gonna just expose all my little secrets on YouTube, but there's, uh, there's three that we just showed you so far. Darren's gonna show you one he's particularly adept at. This is Bruce Lee's favorite technique. Sidekick, Yoko Garrett in the hongo. All I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a straight and Darren is going to use his lead leg for a side kick. All right? I jab, spam. Right to the knee. Right to the knee. That'll stop somebody dead in the tracks. Again. One more time. Perfect. Now, especially if they shoot their jab from the from the feet like you're supposed to, the the you know, the snap jab in boxing, that's going to tear somebody up. Okay. Now, if I throw the one-two, all he has to do is really take a step back and put that side kick in my midsection. So I throw one, two, bam. It's fine. Someone's going to fold around that kick. And that's what you want to happen, essentially. Now, those are just four techniques we did uh, just to show you what you can do off the straight one-two. Um, in boxing, you know, it's called a sweet science. It's my favorite sport. It's my favorite combat sport for a reason because people are only working with punches. So you can see... The, the scientific execution of what it is with hands just off the straight. Now, we'll go into hooks and uppercuts and everything in another video, but this is a response to you. Hope this answered your question and gave you just a little bit of insight on what it is that you can do off the straight one-two or just the straight jab, all right? Really appreciate you uh, commenting and subscribing and, you know, tuning in for us. We appreciate it, and we'll catch you on the next video. Us. Us.